Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I love macrame, thrifting, and a good DIY project. Today I'm doing an Ikea haul. We recently went there over this past weekend and picked up a handful of stuff. So I just thought you guys might enjoy seeing what I got. And I did do one fun DIY project as well with one of the items. So I'm gonna share all of that with you today. If you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. I'm not gonna waste any time today and we're gonna jump right on into things. The first thing I wanted to show you are these kitchen towels. This was a full set. I don't remember the prices, but I believe this was $4.99. Everything's gonna be in Canadian pricing. So it came with these four different different designs, but they all kind of go together. I always need new towels because mine are continually dirty all the time. And I thought these would be really cute for some like fall cooking, flat lay photos. Honestly, my kitchen towels are just destroyed. So these were a necessity and also I needed some cute styling kitchen towels. That is why I picked up these. While we're talking about towels, I picked up two of these brown bathroom towels. We needed some new ones and we just got two of these. They're really, really soft and they have this little ribbing, I don't know, little stripey pattern. Some nice affordable towels. The next thing that I picked up are two pillows behind me. <laughs> This was the first one. This thing was really cheap. I think this, I don't know, this might have been $7 and it came with the insert. It's not like their highest quality pillow by any means, but it was actually my favorite one. I really liked the simple striped pattern and since it was so cheap, I was happy about it. I'm always looking for a smaller pillow. I like on my couch to have one bigger one with one smaller one and this was the perfect little size. I will link all of this below because I don't know the Ikea names and I'm so bad with remembering pricing or writing it down for you. So everything will be linked below if you guys are interested. I picked up one other pillow. I actually got this in their, I got this in their sale section. What's that thing called? I'm forgetting. It's at like the very end of the whole store when you're done shopping. I picked up this pillowcase, it was $5. It did not come with the insert. It's basically like a velvety, is that what that's called? It's a velvety cream color and it was $5. So I've been wanting some really simple pillowcases. I like my neutrals and I like things very minimal. So I just transitioned out a different pillowcase and but this one on five bucks guys i was really happy about that i don't know how much it originally is but i'll try and find it and link it below but it probably won't be five bucks while i'm talking about my pillowcases i did want to talk about this blanket now this is the only thing that's not from ikea but i had to mention it this is a brand new blanket that i was sent by awakened apparel it is so beautiful look at the fringe on this thing awakened apparel is such an amazing company everything is ethically made and 10 percent of your total purchase goes to charity they have really really incredible quality stuff and they have a great heart so i just wanted to share this awakened apparel got this beautiful blanket I mean, I'm like loving it and it's super heavyweight. It's great. So I will link Wakened Apparel's website and this blanket down below. You guys have to go check them out or follow them on Instagram at Wakened Apparel. The next Ikea things that I picked up is a stack of frames. Ikea has the best frames and I feel like they're also the most affordable from a lot of what I've seen. So I picked up a chunk of them because we don't go there all the time. It's kind of far away for us a bunch of these uh, Havsta series. So they have the little birch frames with a mat. So I got one in this size, got one that fits in eight by 10. And then I got two of these big ones that fit like an 11 by 17 size. So I absolutely love them. They have that great natural frame with the white mat. Love them. The next thing that I... <laughs> The next thing that I picked up is this 
faux, yeah, you're being silly. Is this faux sheepskin rug they have? If this is what it is like, all the way open, and it's super, super soft. They used to make a different faux one that just wasn't good, but this one is awesome. So I was really excited about it, and it's way, way cheaper. So yeah, I picked this up and. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet. My thought was that it's also a soft thing that I can move around the house to lay the baby on. Just like very convenient, cute thing. It can honestly be thrown over a chair at the end of a bed, on the floor, by a bed. Like there's lots of options for these and this one was so affordable. So I definitely wanted to grab this. It was getting pretty dark in here. Guys, I'm actually gonna buy a light soon. <laughs> you guys know that. I just use like my window lights and with winter coming, it's so dark in my house and I hate using my like overhead lights. But I'm gonna buy some light on Amazon or something to help out these winter videos. The next thing that I picked up is a larger sized doormat. I actually kind of wish I would have bought in the small one. <laughs> but it's all good. The big one works great too. I have been seeing super cute Pinterest doormat fall photos. So I wanted to DIY my own sort of mat for fall and winter. So that's exactly what I did. First thing I did to create this mat was kind of measure and tape the section in the middle where I would be writing and I tried to make it centered and even as much as possible. And I went in and I just looked at the photo I wanted to recreate and sketched out the words homebody. And then I went in with some chalk paint and, and just painted right on top of it. You really gotta like press it in there because obviously this is not a flat, nice surface. It's very bristly to be painting on. So yeah, and that's, that was all I did. Really, really simple. Look how cute it is when it was all finished. We did pick up a few kitchen things and they're very simple, but I'll just show them to you. We got these tongs. We really needed some new ones. We used these dollar store ones that have seen better days. So we grabbed a nice pair of tongs and along with kitchen utensils, we also needed a new spatula. From Ikea. <laughs> From Ikea, Olin's letting you guys know. So yeah, just a simple spatula. Again, we have dollar store spatula that has seen better days. So got this spatula. And another thing we had from the dollar store was a paper towel holder. And with the metal on our counters, it would always make these little stains that you had to scrub clean. So we just picked up this really nice little wooden one and very simple and affordable. So a much nicer paper towel holder for us. I'm almost done here. We did get something for my son. That's gonna be for his birthday. He doesn't know about it and he's literally right here. A vacuum. Not a vacuum. I'm not gonna show that to you guys, but I can link it down below. You guys can guess what it is in the comments. We did get something for his room. So let me show you that right now. We got him this brand new duvet cover. I've actually been wanting this one for my bed, but I settled on getting it for him. I absolutely love it. These cute little gray pinstripes and yeah, just so cute. Oh, that reminds me. We did also get him a brand new little cot pillow. This is like his safe thing. He loves his little pillow. So they make these little baby cot pillows. We also picked up this stool that goes in the bathroom. We needed something a little taller. That Olin, you're gonna take it? We needed something taller that Olin could also move around the house. I know we got that wood one the last time. Currently, I'm using that as a bedside table, which actually looks super cute. I just wanted something that he could move around that was also a really great height. So that was that. I think that is everything. I feel like I might have missed something because we put everything away, but if I did, I'll link it below. <laughs> I don't think I missed. I think I got it all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked my little Ikea haul and my fun fall DIY. If you did like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you guys can subscribe 
for more of my everyday life, you can follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time.